Hi, I'm Kate Flanagan and I graduated from the School of the Arts in acting. Well, I feel like I started training for my Columbia education when I was 12 because unbeknownst to me, my favorite teacher, Rita Pietropinto Kitt, uh, actually had graduated from both undergrad and the acting school. And she was my Shakespeare teacher and she was the first person to ever teach me Shakespeare. And I loved it immediately, much to my parents' chagrin. I took her class and boom, it was set. I was gonna be an actress. So um, from middle school and then through high school, she was my director and my favorite teacher and she really brought me out of my shell. And we just spoke the same language. Um, great mentor. I went to college and then after that, I uh, applied to different drama schools and I ended up going to Columbia and had the same teachers that she'd had when she was in grad school herself. And immediately when I walked into the Columbia audition, it just felt like home. Uh, there was that language that they were speaking that I think, again, I didn't realize, but I'd started learning when I was 12 years old. So it, it's always felt like home and, and I was so grateful to get a chance to uh, follow in my mentor's footsteps. I think what Columbia really taught me was true grit. I feel like I learned how to work so hard um, in such a positive way when I was at Columbia. I, I learned that I could study 12 different roles and that I didn't really need sleep um, and that I could just keep going. And I also learned how important collaboration was. I think that, um, especially in today's world, we need to be able to listen as much as we're able to speak. So someone who's trained, and I don't think it's just the acting school, I think it's everyone, someone who's trained to um, listen and observe and um, open their hearts up to whoever they're meeting and whoever they're encountering. That's what we need more of today. I think CAA is important in bringing everyone together because we're at a time where communication is needed more than ever, where dialogue is needed more than ever, not just because of the political landscape, but because of our um, culturally ingrained attachment on our devices and our phones. Any opportunity we have to get together in a room, speaking, discussing, um, and hopefully moving towards solving problems is so valuable and just a huge privilege to be a part of. I think Columbia has been really life-giving. I think uh, it's been life-giving not just in an intellectual way, which is what you think of when you think of Columbia, but especially as I've continued to volunteer after graduation, um, it's just been this extremely fun, interesting, rewarding group of people who really all they want is to just connect and give back. And um, in a city where it's easy to just get caught up in, well, what can I get from other people? It's really refreshing to be in a group where people are like, no, what can we do for you? What can we do for the student body? Um, what can we do that's fun to bring people together? Um, it's a real privilege to get to do this.